All right, this is how to use your um, system until you get that universal remote replaced, this one. Okay. And uh, this uh, BD is the Blu-ray player remote. AV system is your sound bar. TV is your, you know, the TV and internet TV. And it has a 3D button on here and the wide button to stretch out the picture. Change your inputs right here to like, you know, uh, Blu-ray player to cable box, whatnot. Internet apps for the internet. Okay, and this controls your cable box, but they're going to come out with a new one and, right. you know, hopefully program everything, all these remotes to the cable cable box remote. If not, get a Harmony 650, which is a, a universal remote. You hit one button, it turns everything on. Hit one button, it turns everything off. It's called a Harmony 650? Mm -hmm. And where would I get that? CompUSA, right? Okay. Well, the same place where you got this yeah. from TV from. All right, so anyhow, we're going to start off by turning on the TV. Uh, turning on the TV, you would normally just hit TV power, cable power, but that remote, we're going to get you, there's going to be a different remote. So as of for now, you're just going to get, use the TV remote and hit power. And now come on. And that light will turn from red. Red means it's off. Green means it's on. All right. Now if you don't have anything on the screen, that means either on, you're on the wrong input or the cable box is not turned on. So hit cable power. All right. And then that light right there will turn on, the, the on light. And there you go. All right, now if you want to watch a Blu-ray player, I mean, if you want to watch a Blu-ray movie, only thing you would have to do to watch a Blu-ray. Oh, by the way, this automatically turns on with the TV and turns off with the TV. It's in um, synchronized using the HDMI control feature. So this is always, your soundbar is always in sync with your TV turning on and off. And it should always be on TV input. If it's not, just hit input selector. Make sure it's always on TV. All right, so to turn this on, you just basically just turn it on and it'll automatically switch that input. All right, it's smart. So um, again, you don't even have to change the input. Just turn the Blu-ray player on using this remote. You just hit the power button right here. And then on the this remote. Actually, you can actually turn on the TV too. So you have the TV power, Blu-ray power, and you can change the input to back to cable. So you could just actually use this one. And then hit, hit, hit input twice. I labeled your inputs, by the way. Say again? I labeled your inputs so you know what input you're on. Okay. So I hit input button twice. All right. And then you want to change the channels using this remote. So you change the channel. All right. That's how you do it. And then turn it all off. Just to turn it off. You leave the cable box on. It doesn't really necessarily matter. Hit the TV power button right here. And I'll turn off everything. See everything turned off. All right, just and that light turned red, indicating that it's off. And you leave the cable box on; it doesn't really hurt anything. Right. Oh, but if you want to turn off the cable box, you just hit cable power. Okay. All right, that's it. I usually keep it on for the time. Yeah, but if it, this gives like all the remote still gives it after you get the new universal remote, and it still gives you a hard time then uh, get the Harmony 650. It's under $100. And then the, when, you, um, when you get the new HDMI cable, when they come out with the new HDMI cable, um, they plug it in back there. Right there, it says HDMI. And when you plug it in right there, it says HDMI on the yeah, it says HDMI in the back. And then that gets plugged in the bottom right here. Okay. HDMI 3. You just plug it in right there. It goes in one way. And then when you turn it on, just hit the input button on here. So you would hit TV power, which right, right here, and then hit input. And on the screen, I'll say cable box. Let me just show you real fast. All right, input. I'm using that remote, by the way. So when you hit the input button, you're using what, please? Uh, this remote, the short one. So it's this cable box.
So it would be like right here, cable box. You would just highlight it. Every time you hit input, it'll cycle that. But as temporarily, you'll have it on this one to watch cable TV. All right, thanks. All right, you just use this as a reference to, you know, use this as a guide to help you out and work your own system.